All right, folks, in this video, I'm gonna give you five tips on how to put a 50 pound catfish in the boat this winter. All right, folks, the first thing to do is slow down. It doesn't matter if you're anchoring, drifting, trolling, bumping, whatever, slow down. The metabolism of fish starts to slow down as the water temperature drops. The big fish are still feeding. As a matter of fact, wintertime is one of the best times to catch big fish, but you need to slow down. If you're anchoring, running and gunning is probably not your best bet. Uh, spend a little more time in each of your spots you're anchoring up on. Uh, if you're drifting or uh, dragging for baits uh, with Santee rigs or three-way rigs, slow down. Normally, I try to drift at a little, you know, half mile an hour, but in the wintertime, I go even slower. I mean, if you can get it, you can get your boat slowed down to 0.1, 0 0.2, you can't go too slow in the wintertime. It's going to help you keep those baits in the target zone on these big fish a lot longer. Tip number two. My second tip is to downsize your baits. A lot of times these fish in the wintertime are feeding on mussels and other small fish that are schooled up uh, that are easy prey. And uh, a lot of times it seems like small baits just seem to work better. I'm not sure why. Um, nothing wrong with using big baits. You'll still catch big fish on big baits. But uh, I would, uh, if the bites are slow, not working real well, I would not hesitate for some smaller baits on. Downsize some of your baits just to see if that helps you with picking off fish. Tip number three. Seems like big fish in the wintertime don't hang out where little fish hang out. So if you're catching a lot of little fish, it may be time to move, pick another spot, uh, run up the lake, down the lake, whatever. Uh, but it just seems like the fish kind of hang out and group by age class. Um, and it, you know, honestly, it seems like most big fish are loners. I don't catch, uh, I generally don't catch big fish, 50 plus pound fish around small fish. So uh, if you're getting a lot of small fish, catching a lot of them, getting a lot of small bites, it might be time to move on. But here's another little trick. You start to get a whole bunch of small fish and all of a sudden the bite dies, uh, you might want to sit tight. Sometimes I've had those situations where I'm catching some small fish, I'm having fun catching them, and all of a sudden the bite dies, and then 10 minutes later, boom, you got a 30, 40, 50 pound fish on. Tip number four, don't be afraid to go shallow in the winter. I know conventional wisdom is to fish deep in the winter time because water temperature is deeper and more stable. Uh, bait fish don't like big drops in water temperature near the surface that can come with cold fronts and at night. And that's true, deeper water generally will produce more fish in the winter. However, there are times when going shallow, and what I mean by shallow guys is two, three, four feet of water, going shallow will work for you. Pay attention to your weather. Uh, we'll have some warm fronts that'll come through. Uh, things will heat up and you may see a four, five, six, seven degree rise in water temperature, especially if we have some sunny days, some milder temperatures. Um, sometimes the back of those creeks, those pockets, those coves can heat up. Bait fish will pull into there. So will the catfish to feed on them. Uh, a good example, a couple of years ago, New Year's Day, uh, my son caught his personal best uh, Catfish, a uh, big blue, 60 pounds and a few ounces in uh, the back of a creek and about three feet of water on New Year's Day. Um, they, and there were several more 16, 17, 18 pound fish caught that day. So don't avoid the shallow water under the right conditions in the wintertime. Tip number five. Another tip is time on the water, toe. Wintertime especially. Uh, sometimes in the summertime, the bite's good. You can go out there and catch a lot of fish some big fish really quickly. Winter time, you're gonna have to put some time in. You're gonna have to spend some time on the water. Don't expect to catch a lot of fish. Uh, in the summertime, uh, the catch rates on the lakes that I fish uh, can be two, three per hour. Uh, you know, sometimes more when the bite's really good. Winter time, you're catching, you know, four, five, six fish all day. So have your mindset and to not to expect to catch a lot of fish, but be willing to put in a lot of time out there on the water to have an opportunity to catch a big fish. All right, guys, I appreciate you watching this video. I'm gonna do some more of these little tips throughout uh, the year, so uh, hopefully it gets you some good information. If you have any questions you want answered, put it down in the comment section below because that's where I get the ideas for this kind of stuff, like this video. Uh, be sure to hit that subscribe button and punch that little bell symbol next to it. That way they will notify you when the new videos come out that I put up. Thanks for watching, we'll see you on the water.